welcome back to my youtube tutorial this is apn graphics yes welcome back to the new month of october yes today i just want us to wrap up with our tutorial on photoshop on this particular distance we are going to learn how i'm going to guide you on how to design a party flyer maybe any kind of party flyer that you wish for and in this tutorial i wish to design two different party flyer but if the time permitting we'll be able to do that and let's see how we are going to do that in photoshop yes this is my photoshop and this thing then i have just opened up and then all what i need to do is to create a, a, a file in this particular distance i may use uh, either a4 a6 a5 a3 or any kind of uh, uh, size that i wish to use so in this particular distance let me use a4 for the tutorial so that we can wrap up with uh, this thing very easy so i'm just clicking on my create new document and i'll see a pop-up this thing that will appear and when this thing appear this is the new version of the photoshop so you have this kind of thing on that and i can just pick for uh, a4 over here then all what i need to do is to change the distance to km to change it to km oh let me just make it part of fly then after that i can just click create and then when it, the document will create it for me and all what i need to do is to start designing all what i need to do and however i have a source file or i have a uh, this kind of resources that i'm going to use for the this thing only three folder and that is what i'm going to use so however let me open up this uh, text document and you can see vote uh, Grigori and Jadon KM as a communications officer Mandai constitution the branches are my witness NDC logo and NDC colors only the person all want NDC logo and NDC colors only in this particular distance so let's just get it done by going back to our photoshop again and we can have something like that over there so this is my first thing i have to do and the next thing i have to do again is to go and import in the image of the person that we are going to use and i'm just going to search for that in over here then there is the picture over there then i'll import it in just like this and when this is done i'll just click ok and this is how i want the picture to be and this is how i'm going to use it and the next thing again i'm going to do this part flyer is going to be very simple and very you know beautiful without any problem so however all what i need to do is to come up at my recycle a rectangular market tool over here then i'll choose ellipsical tool that's circular tool over there then i'll hold shift and then i'll just drag my distance to have a perfect shape or a perfect uh, rounded or circle for that and then i'll choose a color which is black over there and i'll have it just like that and i'll have the color just like this and then i'll press ctrl j to duplicate it and then i'll move that one down by pressing alternate uh, shift and i'll move it in just like that and then i'll change the color to somewhere red and then i'll duplicate one again then i'll hold shift alternate then i'll move that one to down there and then i'll choose color white over there and then i'll choose another i'll duplicate it again then i'll move that one to down there like that and then the next thing i'll do is to choose this particular color beautiful color over there and this is the mpp colors that we can imagine of and if maybe there is uh, any kind of this thing that you may wish to do you can use it again. so we can have something like this but maybe we can exchange we can interchange the colors over there so that it will match it very well but for now let's have something like this and we can have something like that and this one should come down there and then i'll hold shift alternate then i'll transform the this thing uh, in a way that it will look somehow good on the this thing just like that okay then i'll have it just like that and i'll move this one to the top there just like that and then this one can be somewhere here and i love it this way and the next thing again i have to do again is to close up that particular thing then i'll come up with the rectangular matrix tool over here then i'll just draw something like this over there and on this particular distance i'll change the color again to this a blue a, a green color just like this and then i'll have it 
come somewhere. Okay? And then the next thing again I have to do is to come and pick another rectangular matrix tool up right here. Then I'll draw, I'll just draw some shape just like that. And that shape I will let, want it to be just like this. Okay. And this particular distance should be red. Yes. And when I have some red, this something like this. All what I need to do is to come back and click and press Ctrl T. Then I'll have it just like that. And then all what I need to do is to hold Shift or Alternate, and then I'll I'll just hold uh, Control and I'll move my distance just like that. If that one looks beautiful. But if you don't want it this way again, the next thing that you want to do is to press Ctrl T to have it just like that and then you right click and go to warp and when you go to warp you hold your control and just move it just like that okay just like this and this one you can move it over there and you can have it just like that and then you can click OK for that and that is what we will still use and then I'll come up with a writer called foot on my distance so I'll just put foot there just like that and then when I have the foot written on the distance all what I need to do is to check on my path here and it is the foot so first of all I'll come and copy this particular distance right here the first name of the person then I'll wait for the distance to have it done. then I'll have it like this and then I'll try and transform it a little bit yes and I'll have it just like that over there and then the foot should be somewhere here and that particular distance I'll change the font to be bass and be bass can uh, is very good when I'm doing this kind of thing so I'll just look for be bass somewhere here uh big bus big bus big bus then we have i just have to search for the big bus over there and you can see it here the big bus in your finger then i'll use this particular distance then i'll transform it i'll increase the size over just like that and then i'll make the size i'll make the color white and i'll have it just like that. okay and then the next thing again i have to do again is to uh, just paste in my work just like that and then that one I'm going to use poppins for that and poppins then the the boldness I'm tr I'll try and use bold over there and then this one I'll use this particular size uh, let's say 74 will be okay for me then I'll have it somewhere just like that okay and then the next thing that I have to do is to come and copy the this last two names over there then i'll just paste that one to over here by using the same font and i'll but i'll change the boldness to somewhere uh, semi bold over there and then i'll reduce the size somewhere 24 then i'll have it just like that and then let me just increase the size a little bit and this is the composition the composition you have to get in mind with the composition so that you won't have any problem at the time. Okay, you get that. Yes. So let me make it 40. Let's see something. 40 over there will be okay. Alright. Yes. And then this one, let me try making it 80. So that I just want the name to look so bold over there. And I'll have it just like that. Okay. And yes. And then the next thing again I have to do again is to come and pick the uh the communication and then this thing that we have to do so i'll just pick all over there i'll just copy it all but the next thing i have to do is to come and pick a rectangular market tool and just draw something like that over there and then that particular this now i'll change the color to this red color over there then i'll have it just like that and then i'll move this one somewhere just like that and that one looks so beautiful for me and the next thing again i have to do on this particular destiny is to come and pick uh, another rectangular material tool over there and then i'll just draw some this kind of testing over there and on this particular destiny what i need to do again is to make it white it's okay for me then i'll just paste in one of the problems over there and then i'll just copy this particular distance over there and i'll paste it somewhere here so i'll paste in only the ass over there and then i'll let it come 
to the listing and then i'll change the color to this particular color over there and i'll make the distance somewhere 30 that one looks beautiful then i'll have it just like that and the next thing that you're gonna have to do is to zoom it out on this particular distance i'll duplicate it by pressing ctrl j over there and then i'll just hold shift alternate and just drag it a little bit over there just like that and then i'll let me increase the it, it decrease the distance just like that and i'll have it just like that okay yes and then i'll head over and come and pick the communications officer over right there then i'll copy it and then i'll come and paste it on this particular list and i'll change the color to white over there just like that and then i'll move this one to somewhere like that okay yes yes i just want to make some changes to this particular uh list over there so what i need to do over here is that i just want to uh hold control and then i'll just drag this one somehow down just like this so that i'll have it look something you know something curved. so on this particular thing, what you need to do is to press ctrl t to transform then you hold your shift control so that you can have a perfect dragon yes on that you get that so no changes on this particular thing. then i'll have it like that. and the next thing again i have to do is to come and pick copy the quandai this thing over there then I'll just come and paste that one to over here, just like that. And then I'll make some changes to it and I'll leave it just this way, but I'll make the size uh, somehow a little bigger yes, so that it can occupy this. Thing. So on this particular distance, I'll just pick from the top to this particular place. Then I'll move it to the top just like that so that uh, next thing I have to do is to come and pick another rectangular marker tool over here then I'll just draw something just like that and this one I'll change it to black and then I'll head over and come and pick uh, what is the name I'll come and pick the logo or just a tag of the best and then I'll, on this particular this thing I'll just paste it on this and then I'll have it just like that and I'll move that one to somewhere there and I'll change the color to somewhere 24 so that it won't take much of my list so moving this one to the top moving this one too to the top and then uh, moving this one that the distance here to, to the top too so that I can have a, a space down there to do what I want and then I'll have it just like that okay yes and all these are mpp colors mpp has white on the color they have anything that i'm using mpp has it you get that so on this particular destiny i'll decide and make it a little bigger a little bit small yes make it a little bit small just like that and that is how i'm going to get it and then this one let me just have it somewhere small to be separated on the distance then i'll have it just like that and then i'll just save my work to my distance and the next thing again i have to do again is that moving this one a little bit to the top so that i'll get enough space to do what i, I really want so the next thing again, again i have to do is to on up this particular distance to appear on the this thing on the head of the this thing then i'll have it just like that over there we get that yes so having it just like that. and the next thing you're gonna have to do is to head over and we'll pick the flag over here and i'll just transform it a little bit more to somewhere here then i'll have it just like that and uh, let me zoom it out then i'll just write down there ndc just like that okay and i'll change it to black down there and then the next thing you can have to do is to put all in rectangular mark market tool over there then i'll let it be somewhere like that and i'll make the curve like that and i'll give out a stroke 
which is this and the color the stroke should be the rays pixels center pixels over there then I'll have it just like that okay yes and I can group all in this particular distance then I'll call that one logo yes and I can have it just like that and I can move it to somewhere here without any problem so when it moved to somewhere there I think uh, we have just completely half our party flyer design just like this very simple one and then it looks you no know, more problems hasn't there about that so I but I just create a new edition of this particular rectangle over there but I'll change that one color to red uh, to white over there then I'll just push that one up a little bit just like that and then I'll reduce the opacity to somewhere 35 and I'll have it just like this okay yes and using on this particular distance we only use two uh, fonts there uh, that is uh, papers and then poppins that's all that we use and the colors are for MPP colors all the MPP colors but the right up we use only white for the right up oh, that's all and shape we have the shape of here and then this thing. yes thank you very much for watching this is ABM graphics and have a nice day bye bye